Test. What falcon? Is the freaking toilet paper on the dispenser or not? <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's there snug as can be. Thank heavens. Oh my god, they crack me up. My face hurts from smiling. <sighs> anyway, go get things wrapped up. I'm heading back. That was good stuff. You do the same thing? Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! It's connected. That's weird. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Here's a family photo album. It goes way back. Thanks. Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I, sh so I should go get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. Um, not- nothing much, really. Um... We kind of observed, got a tour of the house, found some stuff, and then, uh, they just did a little goofy thing where... Watts found some toilet paper that was just sitting on the sink. Like, the roll. And he called up Eva, and apparently she doesn't like that. And he freaked her out. And, uh, he teased her. And she's like, please put it on the dispenser. And he made her like say please and stuff. And so he did. And then she felt relieved. Look at this pixel art, man. Oh, it's a baby. Uh, this is, uh, what's his name? Aaron? Asher. Asher, that's his name. Oh, look at him. I like her, sh her white streak in her hair. Must be going to school. What happened here? Are they embarrassing him? Is that the point of that? This is cute. What's that? Oh, he graduated. Okay. Playing soccer. Oh, he dropped a paper. Mama playing piano. Is that... Okay, so he's playing the cello. What's she doing? Is she just dancing? What's the mom doing? Like, he's peeking at her. His eyes open. He's got one eye open. Checking her out. Is she dancing? What's she doing? Oh no, she's playing on the piano. Jeez. Yeah, this is uh, the the family album that the son gave us. Apparently, that's it. Is everything ready? You betcha. How about the file? Has Rock sent the scans? No, she said she's coming over to bring it in person. Yep, I knew it. He's freaked out about her. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. Then it- oh wait. Then again, you know Roxanne. He was always a little cucumbered up in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Cucumbered up in the head. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Language, Eva! Anyway, I guess we could still start in the main- er, start in the meantime. Your helmet's on the recliner. Helmet's on the recliner. Where's the recliner? 
this thing. He walked over here. Do you want to say something? Good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set you out to do. Put on our safety helmet. Commence memory traversal. Let's go. Wait. Too late! Puts on helmet. Before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I do kn know that, but... How? What will you be actually doing? Well... No time to explain! Let's elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's a machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates permutations and possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. Oh wait, in the form of memories, of course. It's like, listen. Listen, listen, Asher. I don't have time. I don't have time to explain to you the complexities and the details about all of this. But it's going to bother me more if I don't. So I'm going to do it anyways. It's an illusion, but to him, it would be indistinguishable with memories of a lifetime. However, the permutations the machine calculates would still be logically coherent. So it reads a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's when where we come in. We tell him through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick ass decisions and fill his own wish. Just by his own volition? Is that enough? I'd have to thought. I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen happen? No time to explain! Continue elaborating. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that upload the illusion of reality. Illogical habitances are, aren't one of them. And, since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime. Let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo, man. <laughs> Anyhow, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. This literally reminds me of Rick and Morty, the episode with the brand Simple Rick. I've never really watched Rick and Morty. I've seen a couple episodes. So I would unfortunately not get that reference. I apologize. I don't know what's going to... Oh, wait. Wrong voice. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Lux for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. That's totally how the song goes. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. Whoop. 
No! He went towards the light. Game over. Ugh. Why is this dark? Okay. It was all creepy looking and creepy music kicked in. It scared me. He's sitting in a chair with a helmet on his head. Screaming the entire time, but unaware of it. Oh, ha! What the heck just... I knew it! I knew I was feeling something. What just fell out of my head? Guys! What was that? Oh, snap. Oh no! I'm gonna get stabbed in the brain. That's dangerous. Okay, my hat had a little bit of the, the little stabby stabbies that hold in the, the pins. And, uh, eh. It was gonna stab me in the brain. How to fix it? Uh. All right, this should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah, and check out the reigning heavy sleeper champ over here. Uh. These aren't fitting on right now. All right. Leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. Oh, my chest is killing me. Ugh. What's with the helm you put on your patient? The helm? Um, so essentially what they're doing is they start like to his most recent memories and they try to find out what his main dream in life that he tried to achieve was. And then they keep going back further and further in his memories to find a key point where they actually can change his memories so he can actually achieve that goal in his memories. Uh, they essentially just rewrite his memories so he can die happy kind of thing like he achieved all his goal or his main goal in life. Um, so if you want Crimson, I don't know if you're following uh, the YouTube channel, uh, but the, the game before this one is called To the Moon. Um, that one goes into a little more detail, too. Um, I would highly recommend checking that one out if you don't play it yourself. Actually, if you have any inclination of playing it yourself, do that. Besides watching me play it. Um, but that game isn't a... That's a heart tugger. Uh, but it's great. It's a fantastic game. Hmm. The equipment, it looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. <laughs> Never mind, forget I asked. <laughs> Kia! What did you do, Watts? Character customization, no way. What? Oh my god. Whoa, no way. Mid part timeless. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> Mid part timeless. Side part 1920s. Cool afro 1960s. Smooth yet manly face. Hipster stash. Amish Paradise. Rich old Baron. <laughs> this is goofy. Socks, plain black. Even blacker. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna say slightly darker black. Gold trimming. You can't even see his socks. Dead sock puppets. <laughs> Tomato pattern. One red, one gone. <laughs> Mithril plus the 50 agility. I freaking love this game. Dinosaurs, fuck yeah. Uh, we're doing dinosaurs. We're keeping him everything the same except his dinosaurs. Oh my god. <laughs> Shh. 
She's not gonna notice anything different. He's like, my socks are different. Ta-da! You look the same, or you look the same. Huh. I guess the system computed that my handsome look is just how I am. That's awesome. I wonder though. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, listen. You better not be. <laughs> oh my God! Tag, you're it. Neil, you son of a. Yes. Oh, this is so stupid. I love it. Hair, long flowing locks. Pragmatic bun sticks. Oh, I love those. Saucy bangs. Long flowing locks. I, can't, I really love the pragmatic bun sticks. Face, classic Eva. Oh no. Oh no. Is Watts messing with her? Grand mustache. Wizard's beard. Regal face carpet. No, I don't want to mess with her, but I also want to mess with her because that's totally something Watts would do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no Eva I'm sorry I want to give her the bun oh no <laughs> look at the face carpet hold on a minute Oh my god, that's amazing. Plain white socks, bright teal, giraffe print. Fuzzy Hanukkah. Cucumber pattern. More hold and sock. Rainbow stripes. Rare silk. Uh, I feel like she would have cucumber because she says that a lot as her cuss word. Giraffes are kind of cute though. She's gonna, oh my god. I'm sorry, Eva. I'm so sorry. Oh, I just saw your message, Crimson. <laughs> are those cucumbers? What are those? I can't even, are those Brussels sprouts? They look like lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this game. Oh. oh my god, she has a beard. Uh, that's totally something Watts would do to her too. Uh. Hey, don't blame me. It's the system that chose it for you. She looks at the camera. <laughs> She's calling me stupid. She's looking right at me. Well, the system is the dumb tomato. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't insult the system, that's not cool. Whatever, I'm changing back. Ah, oh, come on! It was a lot of work to implement. Besides, you owe me for what happened at the to tofu party last month. Humor me for a bit. The tofu party? Ugh. You did that. You did take a solid for me in the at the tofu, tofu party. <laughs> I love them so much. Oh my gosh. Fine, I'll keep the look until we find Colin. <gasps> Sweet! Nice socks, by the way. Yeah, I'm okay with the socks. I love her. <laughs> she just finds the silver lining. Yeah, I like the socks. Oh man. They're actually not a couple. They're just co-workers, but their co-worker relationship is just adorable. The current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Okay, that's a lie. Okay, let's start off world interaction before he wake, we wake her up. Hmm. After all that, I'm surprised he, we didn't already. What's with the creepy music? Okay, so now we're just kind of walking around in memory. Okay. 